guys, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda. I am a third year vet student and in today's video I'm showing you what I keep in my backpack when I have to go to campus and work on clinic as a vet student. This time last year, I filmed a video talking about what I keep in my backpack, but it was more geared towards when I'm going to campus for classes. However, now that I'm getting into my upper years of vet school, I'm going to campus a lot more to work in the clinic, and what I take in my backpack for clinic days versus classroom days are very different, so I thought I would film an updated video and show you what I keep in my backpack when I have to go to campus and work in the hospital. If you want to check out my video for what I keep in my backpack when I am going to classes, I will link that down below. Or if you want to follow along with my life as a vet student, make sure you subscribe down below. And feel free to check out my Instagram where I'm posting more vet school content. So without further ado, let's jump right into what I keep in my backpack for clinic days. Before we talk about what I keep in my backpack, we have to talk about the backpack itself. And I'm so excited because this backpack was actually sent to me by the lovely people over at Happy Teeth. This backpack was made by professionals for professionals. If you are in med school, vet school, dentistry school or if you're already a doctor or a dentist this backpack is perfect for you I honestly couldn't have designed a better backpack myself if I tried one of the reasons why I love this backpack so much on top of all of the features that it has is that for every purchase you make on the happy teeth website they donate a dental kit to someone in need now if you guys have been watching my channel you know that I'm actually interested in veterinary dentistry and I think that oral and dental health is so important in our patients so the fact that this company is promoting promoting dental health by giving dentistry kits to those in need is something that I absolutely love and it's something that I am super excited to support. So on top of that, there's about a hundred other things that I love about this backpack. One of them being the material that it's made out of. This backpack is actually water resistant and antimicrobial, meaning that it is super easy to clean. In the three months that I've had it, I have had to clean it a couple times. It looks brand new. It clearly cleaned up very well. I just got a damp cloth, wiped it off and yeah, good as new. What more can you ask for when you're working in a setting where there's bodily fluids flying everywhere? So one, it is easy to clean, but two, it has about a bajillion pockets, which is something I really appreciate in a backpack. So if you guys are looking for a new backpack for vet school or med school or whatever the case may be, I would definitely recommend this one by Happy Teeth. I will leave a link down below to their website in case you want to check out some of their other products. They're actually in the process of designing a couple other things, including a tote bag and a lunch bag. And you can head over to their website and give some feedback on what you'd like to see in those products. But if you want to purchase this backpack specifically, I will pop up a discount code on the screen that you can use for 20% off your order. And you can donate a dental kit in the process. Okay, let's get into what I actually keep in this backpack now. So I'm gonna adjust this camera angle so that you can see this a little bit better. Let's start from the outside and work our way in. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have two different drinks on either side of this bag. And this is a must for me because you guys know how much I like my coffee. I always take my coffee in my Yeti tumbler because although it is on the outside of my bag and although this is liquid resistant, this never spills ever. So I don't have to worry about losing any precious coffee, especially when I have to be up for early mornings. So I have my coffee in the one side pocket. And then I guess while we're here, I'll show you this cute little badge reel that I have. It is an extendable badge reel. So it's super easy to just clip on the waistband or on the pocket of your scrub top. And and then pull out your card if you need to get into any doors or anything like that within the clinic. I also typically keep a highlighter and sharpie on me at all times so I'm just gonna attach it to this little part right here so that I can have them for easy access. So that is what I keep on this side in this drink pocket. Now let's move on to the other side. I have another tumbler here with me. This is just one from Starbucks I think and I always try and bring a bottle of water with me when I go to the clinic just to remind myself to drink water because some days it feels like you don't even have time for that but make time to drink your water I promise your body will thank you for it <laughs> so on this side of the backpack there's actually a big pocket here and then a smaller pocket at the front which you could definitely keep a phone in so that is the two pockets on this side now this part is actually super cool it is a secret hidden pocket there is actually a separate compartment that goes all the way into the bag I actually use this to keep scrubs or shoes in that have gotten dirty while I'm in the clinic and it's perfect because it's separate from everything else in the rest of the bag 
bag. So even if I get pee on my scrubs, I can just throw them in here. And because it's a plastic lined bag, it keeps everything else in my bag nice and dry. And I don't have to worry about taking my clothes home in a separate little baggie. I can just throw them right in here. So these are my fig scrubs. You guys know I love these things. And yeah, if figs wants to sponsor me, let me know. I'm kidding, not really, but these honestly are some of the comfiest scrubs that I own and I would definitely recommend them. I know they're a little bit pricey, but I personally think they're worth it. The other thing that I love this pocket for is putting my shoes in. If you guys are from Canada or any place that gets a disgusting amount of snow in the winter, you know that you have to wear winter boots to work in the morning. So I will throw my clinic shoes in here and wear my winter boots to campus and then change into my clinic shoes when I get there. And it's a great little pocket to store shoes in because like I said it keeps everything in your backpack separate from that so I don't have to get the dirty shoes all over everything else that I keep in the main pockets of the backpack okay those are the two side pockets now let's go into this main front pocket right here this pocket is actually super cool so I typically don't take a lunch bag with me I'll just bring like snacks and maybe a container of food and the great thing about this pocket is that it is actually insulated so you can keep hot or cold food in here and it will stay like that until you have time to eat it when you're at work Happy Teeth also have the cutest little hot and cold packs. They sent me this one, which is like a little white lab coat, and I absolutely love it for throwing in this pocket if I need to keep something extra cold or hot. Also in this pocket, I have a reusable straw. Save the turtles. Okay, that is basically all of the outer pockets. Now, before we get into the massive pocket, there's also a back pocket here where you can keep a laptop or an iPad. I personally only bring my iPad with me when I go into clinics and the reason for that is that I keep a bunch of textbooks on my iPad and I really like having them with me just for reference in case I need to look something up super quickly. My favorite textbook for clinic days is Blackwell's 5-Minute Veterinary Consult. It has basically everything you could ever think of when it comes to seeing patients and the fact that I can take it on my iPad instead of carrying a heavy textbook with me in my bag is awesome. So for me, an iPad is a must but it's it is definitely not necessary when you're going into the clinic. I just like it for the convenience. Also, it's nice as a student because if I ever do get some downtime while I'm in the clinic, I have all of my notes on here so I can review some lectures or I can study for an upcoming midterm and I don't have to carry my heavier laptop with me. I can just look at it on my iPad. Although I only bring my iPad when I'm going into clinics, this pocket is definitely big enough to fit a 15 inch laptop in it. So if I was using this backpack for class days, I could definitely fit my laptop as well as my iPad in this back pocket. Okay, it's time to dive into the massive pocket. This is where I keep so much stuff, it's kind of embarrassing. So let's just get into it because otherwise we're gonna be here for way too long. <laughs> like I said, this is the separate baggie that I keep all of my scrubs in. If you don't wanna use it, it actually folds up on the side and look at how much room is in this bag. I could almost fit in this, like it's bigger than me. I actually don't keep a ton of stuff in this back pocket. The only thing I really keep is this little baggie where I keep stuff for emergencies. I have a bunch of headache medication in here cause if I don't need them, someone else in the clinic most likely does. So I always keep this stocked up in case someone in the clinic needs it. That's basically the only thing I keep in here. I'm gonna flip this bag around and show you what I keep in the front pockets cause this is where I keep way too much stuff. Okay, this is the front of the bag. See? And this is where I keep literally my entire life. In this very back pocket here, I actually keep my stethoscope. I don't currently have a stethoscope bag to protect it when I'm traveling, but with this pocket in the bag, I don't really think I need one just because it's the only thing I keep in the pocket and it's nice and secure, so I don't think it's gonna get damaged. This is the Littman stethoscope that was gifted to me by my vet school and I've had it since first year and it's done the job so far, so cannot complain. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I will try and link all of the products that I have in my bag down below if I can find a link for them. That way, if you guys see something that you like and you want to add it to your clinic backpack, you can find it really easily. Actually, as I'm looking at this, it's pretty dirty. I should probably clean this at some point. There's also two little elastic bands right here that you could keep pens in, but I actually keep all of my pens and my two little notepads in this pocket down here. I have a bunch of highlighters, a bunch of pens. You can never have too many pens because people are always stealing them. These actually, you know what? These two pens are not even mine. So see, 
always stealing pens. It's always nice to have extras. And highlighters are great for when you're going through medical records or if you're just reviewing notes. So I always try and keep some on me. The other thing that I really like to keep with me, especially when I'm going into the clinic as a student, is these little notepads. I will carry them in my scrub pockets and it's awesome to just be able to jot down little things when you're in clinic. If the vets say something that you want to look up later or that you need to remember about a patient or a case, these are super easy to just write down little notes in and I would definitely recommend carrying something with you where you can jot down these little notes because there's no way you're going to be able to remember everything that happens in the day so these are definitely a lifesaver. And I typically go through them pretty quickly so I like to keep a couple on me at all times. Okay moving into the next pocket. In this one I keep a pair of socks with me. Now I actually talked about this in last year's video and I always keep a pair of socks with me because in vet med uh, your patients pee on you. There is nothing worse than having wet shoes and wet socks and having to wear them for the entire day. So I always keep a pair of extra socks with me because like I said you never know what bodily fluids are going to be flying around and are going to end up on your shoes. So that's socks in this pocket. In this one I keep an extra charger with me and I have my airpods in case I want to listen to a podcast or music or a video while I'm on my lunch break. Okay, and moving into the last and final pocket. Okay, the first thing I keep in this pocket are these stoggles. Now you might be thinking, Amanda, what the heck is a stoggle? Well, they are glasses and safety glasses mixed into one. Not only are these glasses super cute, but they actually have these side rims and the top rims, so they act as safety glasses. And I actually bought this last year because of COVID, we had to wear PPE when we were in any of our labs. So I bought these ones for that, but I've also come to realize that these are the perfect safety glasses when you are watching or doing dentistries. And I am saying this from experience to always wear safety glasses because you never know when a piece of tartar is gonna fly off and hit you in the eyeball. Yes, that unfortunately did happen. So now I always make sure to wear my safety glasses whenever I'm watching or helping out with the dentistry. The next thing that I have in this pocket is my suture kit and my practice suture pad. I always like to bring this to campus with me when we're in clinics. You never know when you're gonna have some downtime and I personally find practicing my sutures pretty relaxing. So I whip this out every so often and we'll practice my sutures. This is one I actually got off of Amazon and it's held up pretty well. I've been using this for an entire year and it basically looks brand new. They have a whole bunch of different um, like incisions that you can practice suturing on. And then yeah, like I said, I also have my suture kit with some expired suture in here to practice with and then all the instruments that you would need to practice your sutures so there you guys have it that is everything that i keep in my backpack as a veterinary student when i'm going to campus for clinics like i said before if you guys are interested in purchasing this backpack i will leave a link to the happy teeth website down below as well as my discount code if you want to save some money on your purchase and if you have a vet school essential that you bring with you or that you keep in your backpack at all times that i didn't mention in this video make sure you leave that down below because i'm always looking to add stuff to my backpack backpack. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!